Hello everyone. So today we're going to discuss about complete computer description that is flowchart of operations in a single flowchart. Okay. So um, in the previous classes we discussed about instruction cycle, interrupt cycle and we discussed about the different types of instructions like register reference instructions, IO instructions, memory reference instructions. So uh, each one has its own flowchart, right? So uh, what uh, what is a complete computer description? So if all this comes under a single flowchart, it would be better, right? So uh, let's see uh, how it started. So first sequence counter is set to zero, IEN is set to zero, R is set to zero. So your sequence counter is at zero. So uh, next IEN, okay? So interrupt enable flag is zero. It means that there is no interrupt, okay? So interrupt, uh, interrupt enable flag is set to zero and R is set to zero. So R is set to zero means uh, we can start the instruction cycle. Okay. So here uh, R decides. So whether to go here or to go here. So when R equal to zero, which is nothing but your instruction cycle. So what exactly is your instruction cycle? Uh, fetch, decode, execute, store okay so from fetch to decode from decode to execute execute to store and from store to fetch again okay so it's a cyclic process so uh, at the first uh, level that is r dash t naught your pc it points to the address register okay so uh, as we know that program counter always points to the current uh, instruction right so pc points to the address register so now r dash t1 so PC, as we know that PC always points to the current instruction, so PC will get incremented by 1. So PC, PC plus 1. So M of AR to IR. So in address register, it checks the memory location and is given to uh, instruction register. Okay, so why? Because PC always points to the current instruction which is present in the memory address location. So next R dash T2. Okay, so as we know that uh, from 0 to 15, so 0 to 11 is for address, 12 to 14 is for off code. Okay, so and uh, 15th bit is for uh, I. So here I decides whether uh, uh, it goes to uh, it goes to register reference or memory reference. Okay, so uh, 0 to 11 is for uh, that is instructions. Uh, 0 to 11 instruction register goes to address register. As you know that 0 to 11 is address register. So if you see this diagram, so 0 to 11 is for address. 12 to 14 is for off code. And 15th bit is I. Okay, so that is what. So this is address, this is op code, this is I. Okay. So uh, coming here, uh, uh, 15th bit is set to I, and uh, 0 to 11, that is 12 bits, are set to address register, and uh, 12 to 14 is for D code. Okay. So uh, and here D7 decides whether it is register reference or IO reference or memory reference. When D7 equal to 0, it is memory reference. When D7 equal to 1, it is register or IO reference. So here again it decides with I. When I equal to 0, it register reference instructions. When I equal to 1, it is IO reference instruction. So register reference instruction, uh, D7, I dash, T3. Okay, so here D7, I dash and T3. Okay, so this is T0, this is T1, this is T2 and this is t3 okay so here it executes the register reference instruction so here it executes our instructions so coming to r equal to 1 interrupt cycle uh, r t naught so pc is uh, pc tends to tr and uh, ar tends to 0 so program counter tends to tr and uh, address register is set to 0 and coming to r t1 your P pc is still in 0 and tr tends to m of r okay so uh, temporary register tends to M of R that is the memory location of address register. So now PC gets incremented and IEN is set to 0. It means that so uh, first previously it was IEN set to 1 that is interrupt is enabled. So uh, whenever interrupt is solved, interrupt is cleared, we clear that IEN flag to 0 and R is set to 0 and sequence counter is set to 0. So it goes to uh, R here and uh, and now my, again it checks for r equal to 0, r equal to 1. So it's a cyclic process. So coming to d7 equal to 0, it is memory reference instruction. And it checks for i here. When i equal to 1, it is indirect reference. When i equal to 0, it is uh, direct reference. Okay. 
So uh, when i equal to 0 is direct reference so, and when i equal to 1 it's d7 dash i t3. So m of ar2 uh, ar and execute mr instructions, memory reference instructions and finally it goes to uh, r. It's a cyclic process. So uh, these are the instructions. Uh, so how uh, it takes here fetch r dash t0 so pc to ar and uh, uh, PC always gets incremented to 1, PC, PC plus 1, M of AR to IR. Okay, so these two comes under fetch. Okay, so next is decode that is R dash T2. Okay, so here as we said that uh, 0 to uh, 11 is for address. Okay, uh, 12 to 14 is for off code and 15 th uh, 15th bit is for uh, I. Okay, so next is uh, M of AR to uh, M of AR to AR that is indirect interrupt. So T T naught dash T one dash T two dash that is I E N uh, F G I plus F G naught R tends to one. So here R T naught uh, R T one R T two. So uh, P C tends to T R uh, A R tends to zero. P C tends to zero uh, T R tends to M of A R. So here sequence counter is set to zero. Uh, R is set to zero. I E N is set to zero. Uh, P C uh, P C plus one. That means there is no interrupt here. Why, why? Because it is indirect um, interrupt cycle. So uh, finally, I E N will be set to zero. Why? Because whenever interrupt is solved, I E N should set to zero. Whenever there is an interrupt, I E N flag will be set to one. So coming to memory reference instructions uh, for AND, we have uh, D R tends to M of A R. Uh, sequence counter is set to zero. A C tends to A C and D R. So this is the symbol for AND. Okay. For uh, ADD, uh, plus symbol will be there. Okay. So for ADD, the D R uh, M of A R tends to D R. So uh, Sequence counter is set to 0, uh, C out is tends to E and AC tends to AC plus DR. So LDL load accumulator, okay. And uh, STA, BUN, uh, BSA, ISZ. So this all this we already discussed in our uh, previous classes, okay. So uh, so these are the reference, uh, these are the memory reference instructions, okay. So next is register reference instruction. So this is a common to all register reference instructions so ir of i b i that is i equal to 0 to 11 okay so here a clear accumulator uh, uh, clear uh, exponent flag okay compare uh, accumulator okay uh, sorry complement accumulator complement exponent flag uh, sir circular right circular left accumulator increment accumulator uh, spa skip if accumulator is positive okay so like that uh, we have reached the reference instructions so uh, and last one is input output instructions so d, uh, d7 uh, i t3 equal to p common to all input output instructions so uh, input uh, out for output sk skip uh, skip input skip output uh, uh, ion uh, iof okay so uh, these are uh, input output uh, instructions okay so this is complete computer description of flowchart so i hope you understood the concept so the students who are watching my channel for the first time i request you to please subscribe my channel please share my videos to your friends and well wishers and please support the channel in all possible ways thank you thank you very much